needed to bring a new list to the table and we did. This is the summer 2024 update of the eight best places to move to, live in the best spots here in the great state of Delaware. And quick disclaimer, I'm not even from Delaware. I'm a transplant. I, I military bratted myself from Wichita Falls, Texas over to Delaware in 99 and I was born in Warner Robins, Georgia. So Warner Robins, Georgia, Wichita Falls, Texas. And then during the season one premiere of SpongeBob SquarePants, I remember moving into my first home off Main Street in Melton, Delaware. I remember that night very vividly. But since then, we've seen Delaware change drastically. And just since last year, we have new towns that are now the faves in Delaware. And I wanna go through the eight best places to live in Delaware. Number eight, and not new to any list, is Wilmington, Delaware. Not the capital of Delaware, but the most populated city in Delaware. Wilmington has a name for itself as one of the more city-like scapes here in the entire state, and really takes on a mini Philly vibe when you're in it. And between the business growth, the food scene, and the, the artsy scene, they're growing into what is like a mini Philly. It, it, it's going to, in its growth path, look really similar as Wilmington continues to grow as already its most populated city. Number seven is Seaford, Delaware, located just off of 13 going down south in Delaware. This small little town is not as small as you may remember it with businesses opening up on a day-to-day -day basis, a booming population over the last five years. And quite honestly, getting south in Delaware is getting more expensive each and every day. So people are flocking to places like Seaford and even Georgetown and Bridgeville to get deals. And they're still available at number seven at Seaford. Number six, not new to this list, but maybe new to you is Frederica. Come on now. Known for its absolutely fire pizza and pasta house. Shout out my guy Pete over there at Frederica Pizza Pasta House. It's also growing and known for its residential superiority over a lot of other places. Let me tell you why. One, for my military folk, you get to be away from the flagpole without being super far away, keeping you within about 15 minutes of the base. Number two, price point wise in this area, you could still snag yourself a 250K, 350K home if you search hard enough without having to, you know, physically beat somebody up to get that property, which you'd have to do in a lot of other areas. I'm joking. Kind of. And number three, the location. You're right between Route 13 and Route 1. The main transit's up and down Delaware on both sides. Can't say it enough. Being sandwiched between these two highways makes travel through Delaware so simple. Number five is my hometown, my homegrown Lake Forest Barton Stand. Proud! I didn't go to that high school, but I lived there, Felton, Delaware. If you're looking for the traditional small town, you know, traditional small town, like there's only one little bank and there's, there's the bar that everyone goes to and there's the one hardware store and a pizza shop. Like if you're looking for that, if you're looking for where the community fire department runs or facilitates most of the events in the area, that the parades run down Main Street, but you know, Little League opening day is a big day for the town. If you're looking for one of those types of towns, Felton. Let me point you in that direction. You can still snag a home in that 300 to 400 K range. New construction is available both in communities and to build on your own lot. You can be away from the highway. You can be right up on 13. And like the last one, you're very close to Frederica, which I like that area too. Both Fs, FF. Coming in at number four is a town whose school district is one that I would absolutely fail in the school spelling bee if asked to spell it. The school district is Apoquitamic and the town is Middletown. Known just 10, 15 years ago as a place with a lot of farmland, this now booming residential, soon to be metropolis that is building up in places like Middletown and even getting into areas like Odessa and Townsend has been no secret now for the past six to eight years as its growth has been palpable both to our economy and in the traffic to and fro it. A highway named 301 was created simply to get people out of Middletown and being able to travel through Maryland to commute to their jobs. A lot of people that live in Middletown commute to jobs like that. And traffic in downtown Middletown continues to grow as they bring on more restaurants, more things to do, I like more golf. There are a lot of things hustling, bustling, and growing in Middletown. Some love it, some don't love it. I'll leave that for you to decide, but it is absolutely growing. Number three is not unfamiliar to rapid growth and also starts with an M, but we're going a farther bit south. This is one of the only towns in Delaware that separates its line between two different counties, and these two counties would be Kent and Sussex County, and the town coming in at number three is Milford. The Buccaneers at 19963 have been no secret to growth as their downtown has become a bustling shopping, walking festival event center for anybody to enjoy from families to young couples and the parks that have been introduced to the area as well as the uncanny amount of new construction 
construction neighborhoods that are being built in and all around the area. There's no secret that Milford is growing like an absolute weed and most all of Milfordians are behind it with the new mom and pops that are popping up what seems like every other weekend with sometimes even restaurants becoming a little bit more filled. The energy, the vibe, the buzz is there and Milford is one that I would put on the radar for climbing up this list in the future. They have a lot of great growth signs. For number two and number one, we had to fit a few different towns into each to make it at all make sense for the growth that these areas are seeing. And number one, honestly, isn't going to be a surprise to most, but there is a surprising factor involved in it that a lot of Delawareans aren't seeing. But number two is going to be Dover's eight mile radius. If you had to put a circle anywhere on the map in Delaware and ask where the most government dollars are being put into, where the most love and effort is being put into, and where is the most growth going to be seen over the next five years, I'm putting my bet on Dover, especially the surrounding areas of Dover, Camden, Magnolia, the Smyrna areas of Kent County, even getting down in the Magnolia, these areas have been residential just kingdoms that have been growing slowly but surely with commercial and entertainment things growing and opening in tandem with the residential growth. See, that's a big factor that happens in a lot of areas where the residential can grow like a leap and a bound in one year and restaurants and things to do don't quite keep up. I feel that Dover and the surrounding areas have done a great job of this incremental growth and downtown Dover has a 2030 project that you need to Google. Dover 2030. Google that and look at the project and look at the $500 million are about to sink into it. It's not going to be recognizable. I'm telling you right now, number two, Dover. And number one, let's just open this can of worms right now. It's the Delaware. Delaware beaches, and I'm going to put number one Delaware beaches is Fenwick Island, closely followed by Bethany Beach, Rehoboth, Lewis, and then Dewey. That's the order I would personally put them in, but let's talk about Fenwick Island, y'all. This is a beautiful area to be in. You're basically in Baby Ocean City, kind of how we had a mini Philly with Wilmington. Now we got Baby Ocean City with Fenwick. This is a quiet, this is a high dot net worth area, definitely, but quiet and much to do, dense with opportunity, such an opportunity for a vacation home, secondary rental property while you still work wherever you're at. But regardless, for my people that live here in Delaware, we know this is a beautiful area. We know the strip from Lewis all the way down the Fenwick Island when you cross over the Maryland line is just sought after scenery, sought after shopping, restaurants. We love this area and want it treated well. And as it grows, we only hope that the residential areas, that the streets for traffic, that public transit grows with it. And that's what we hope and anticipate with all of these growing cities and towns is that the government, the states, the schools, and the population are behind growth and are behind both not just people coming in from out of state, but first time buyers, investors backing up and bulking up this great state. There's so much growth coming in. There's so much growth in our future. And a lot of people are starting to see it, myself included. I've seen it for quite a few years and I'm hoping you see it too. Delaware is growing and these are the eight best places you can live while it's doing it.